Welcome back to Breaking Par. I'm your host, Bernard Sheridan, and this is the video portion of the show that you can watch on our YouTube channel. And today's guest is Mark Berry, the founder of Gaming Glove. This is a wonderful product, and I felt that it would be very beneficial for my listeners and for those on YouTube to find out about this product because it'll really help you control your game and actually be able to learn more about what your hand path does in the golf swing and how to create different shots. This is a really good product. So sit back and relax and watch our interview with Mark Berry from Gaming Glove. So Mark, welcome to Breaking Par, the podcast, and thanks so much for taking time to be with us today. Thanks for having me on, uh, Bernard. It's my pleasure. So give us a little bit of insight um, I know that Game in Glove is a brand new product, um, and it uh, is based around uh, a few things that happen on with with a golf club uh, that involve a laser, um, a picture of a club face. Uh, there's also a mat that's used. Um, so tell us a little bit about what brought you to get into this uh, into this business to create a um, device that helps golfers play better and um, how did you stumble upon the idea to begin with? Um, it started about two years ago. Um, I was I, I did most of my career in the British Royal Navy and um, I've been a golf addict or nut pretty much for the last 20 years and you know like everybody else struggled to break 100 then 90 then 80. Um, and as part of my leaving the Royal Navy, um, I did a week-long golf school in England um, at the James Andrews School of Golf. And um, during that whole week of almost one-on-one instruction, I um, the, the golf instructor through video was able to identify two things in my golf swing that was a, essentially stopping me from making any progress or getting any better. And one of those, well, the two things was I was um, raising my spine angle, um, so lifting off the ball. But the other thing was I was um, over-rotating my hands and forearms on the backswing, Mm -hmm. essentially getting into a hitting position. And under the guidance of the instructor, I was able to, you know, execute the move and it felt great. But as soon as I got on the golf course... Uh, I just reverted to what I'd always been doing. Um, and no matter how I tried, I couldn't figure out how not to rotate my forearms. And that's where this all started. I, I started thinking, well, surely if I'm doing that, I should be able to at least visually represent that in some way. And then just one day I picked up um, like my son's laser um, toy thing that he was using with his, with his dog. And I kind of put that in the back of my hand and originally had it strapped to my my knuckle of my glove hand. And I noticed that by by the move that I was doing, it was incorrect, really showed up like dramatically on the floor um, with the laser. And then when I did the the move that I was supposed to be doing, it really showed up. And then that's, that's how the laser part of it came. And I realized that, any movement that you do that's incorrect on the, on the backswing, whether, whether you take the club too far to the inside, too far to the outside, if you roll your hands or any of these moves that is not what it should be, um, really shows up. And, and, I, and I was amazed at, you know, how easy that was to begin with, but how effective it was. And also, it, it's the same on the downswing or any, any part of your swing. So if you cast the club, the laser gets a different pattern. If you flip it impact, the laser goes behind you. If you come over the top, the laser comes way over the top. It just, it just, the, the real-time visual feedback, as I call it, was just amazing. I knew I was onto something right then. That's, uh, it's very interesting how it's funny, but, you know, necessity is the mother of invention. And, that you thought, well, you know, if I can use something that I can see what the heck my hands are doing as opposed to just feel, because 
probably for you, you're probably more of a visual learner than you are a field learner. Um, a lot of different people learn different ways. Um, a visual learner, they want to see some type of a feedback. You saw that immediately, and then when things weren't going correctly, it really showed up with the laser, hence the idea of creating something that attaches to a glove as a laser to show this. Now, in your experience, um, once you started to begin this, uh, how how do, how were you sure that you were doing it correctly? I mean, I understand that um, you know you, when you threw it over the top or or you saw the laser go over the top, things like that. Um, but you have a mat that you use. How were you sure how to get that trace pattern so that everything was correct? Was that just a lot of experimentation, trial and error? Did you work with an instructor with that? Or was that all something that you came up with on your own? Because if you did, it's really you're, you're, quite, a, you're quite an intelligent guy if, if you did that all on your own um, without any help from anybody else. Well, um, I initially um, negotiated to get um, 100 prototypes of the glove because... I'd seen with my own eyes what it could do. Um, I'll, I'll just quickly go over the, what you talk about the club face on the back of the glove as well. I call that the realizer club face because you can realize how the club should move through impact. I, I find that, you know, even myself and watching other people chipping and putting it, uh, chipping and pitching especially, that if you understood how to hit down with, with the back of your hand, as opposed to people trying scooping up. Uh, and that's where I realized that the back of your, your hand actually controls the club through impact. And, if, and that's where the visual learning came in as, again, that you can see the club face releasing through impact. Uh, and then as I realized that, then, then, you know, gripping a club all the way down to work, work you know, taking the shaft out of the equation, then it just wraps around and then you've got the shaft palm line. So, you know, it covers three things. It's the grip. If you grip the club in your palm and not in your fingers, then you can't, as you know, you can't cock your wrist correctly and uncock your wrist at impact. And then if you do any funky moves to try and flip the club. So the whole thing came about like that. That So I came up with the prototype. So the prototype was a shaft palm line, realized a club face. And at the time I had a fixed laser. It just pointed straight down. Now I knew then that this was not the 100% solution to the problem. And I also knew that I needed a mat. But what I needed to do first was to reach out to golf professionals and um, golf magazines and send off my prototypes to them to see what their feedback was. Um, and I sent out um, a prototype gaming glove to probably 25 uh, golf professionals and to five or six magazines and um, reviewers, basically. And until I got any feedback from any of those um, professionals, that was Gaming Glove was on hold. I had a good name, I had a good logo, but whether I was going to invest any more money or if it was even an investable idea was all down to the feedback I got from the professionals that I, I put it in the hands of. And... It was probably a three to four month process after sending those out before I really started to hear anything back. Obviously, you know, it's not on the top of everybody's uh, to-do list and, and they're all busy, all the pros are busy. But um, after I got back from a vacation um, with my wife, um, the answers were there from, from the pros. This is where I met Mike Fay, uh, Brian Jacobs, Ed Bow. I started to get the feedback from them and the feedback was that they were having excellent results with their with their students who obviously were also visual learners. Um, Frank Guestella, who was out of Michigan, said it was his uh, go-to training aid and now I've got a list of probably 15 golf professionals who've put testimony on my website but I, I then struck up a relationship with Mike Fay. Um, who you know very well, and and Mike 
Mike wants to help get the products out there, so he, he was delighted to come on board as a brand ambassador. Um, and um, Mike's filmed the uh, DVD series that comes along with the glove. And um, the, the laser path mark, once I knew that I had the gaming glove was a, a valid training aid, then I started working on the laser path mark. And I had the idea, uh, but I also worked with Pete Drotter, and um, a couple of other golf professionals to perfect it, because, you know, um, and, and Mike talks us on through the DVD series um, on, on taking the club back, taking the laser back on the outside line and coming back on the inside line. But depending on what, what mode of um, teaching, if you like, that you're using as an instructor, um, you can get a sharpie and you can alter those decals on that map to suit your swing that you're teaching. So if you're a, a one plane swing teacher and you want to um, show the, the, the more of a semicircle around the feet on the backswing and the follow through, say Jim Hardy type, you can just change the decals for your student. Um, same with stack and tilt. Um, any, any of these um, different teaching methods can, can um, you still get the same feedback with the laser, but what you can actually do is draw different lines on the mat um, to represent what you're trying to tell that particular student to do. And so they can have their own um, custom mat. So if you've got someone who's, a, say, for example, is really chronically slicing the ball, they're coming over the top and cutting across the ball, you can have... Um, lines on that map that show a real inside to outside path and then you can just change that through time as the, as the student gets progressively closer to what you want them to get to. So the great thing about this is then is that this device can be used swing style really it doesn't matter um, and and you have different types of patterns that can be used for the mat to match swing styles that players use um, and and instructors can use to help their students achieve what they're trying to, to do for that person um, by using these different type type uh, mats um, for, for where the laser goes and, and things of that nature. Um, so you mentioned at first that the um, laser was fixed in one position. Now, when I met you down at the show, you said that you've now moved that and modified it so that that laser can change positions. And is that um, so that it, it, depending upon swing styles, is that why that had to happen? Um, partly, but mainly because when I sent out the, the prototypes, I knew myself it wasn't the 100% solution. Because me being, I'm only five foot six. When I when I addressed the ball with the prototype, the laser dot pointed straight at my feet. I knew this wasn't ideal, but I, I needed to get it out to professionals to validate it. Once it was validated, then I moved to the second stage of gaming glove, which was to take all the feedback I'd got from the professionals and to take the feedback I'd got from um, the different um, online golf magazines and reviewers. And, and go back to the drawing board and change the product so that everything that was I was told that was no good about Gaming Glove was fixed. So I was told that the laser was, you know, um, in the wrong place. Um, so what I did was we went back to the drawing board and now you can, just by twisting the laser box, you can alter it for a 100-degree um, Area so that if you if you address the ball and the, the, the dot the, the laser beam is pointing at your feet, you just twist the box clockwise until it's in a position ahead of you. Also, if you address if you want to hit golf balls with the uh, with with the glove on, then you tee the ball up or, or uh, ahead of, ahead of the mat and you rotate the laser counterclockwise so that you are tracing your hand path whilst hitting the golf balls. Uh, the other thing is I was told that the the laser and the um, prototype was not strong enough. Um, and so we, we upgraded the laser to a five milliwatt laser, which is the maximum um, which is maximum legal laser in the US and uh, Canada. 
So we took all those that, that feedback and and uh, produced what I believe is a 95% solution because I don't think you can ever have a 100% solution. But where the packaging and, and where we're at now with Gaming Glove is something I'm very very happy with, and um, something I would certainly go out and that's that's the thing. I looked at I looked at it initially and said, would I buy this product? And at the prototype level, no, I probably wouldn't. But with the adjustable laser and the, 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 the instructional DVD by Mike and the laser map, that, that laser is going to show you right away if you've got an issue with your swing. It may take you a while to fix that, but at least you're going to know what to work on. So this time of year, too, would be a great, great time to, um, to purchase one of these products for people who are stuck indoors. And uh, and put that mat down on the ground and take some swings and start to fine tune that muscle memory of path um, to get things to happen because they really can't. A lot of people right now they can't get out and hit balls. Um, but but if they can see that visual feedback, um, feel it while they're sensing and seeing it, um, they should they should see some notable improvement. By the time they start to get outside, correct? Um, yeah, that's correct. And uh, Mike and I are finding out new things about gaming glove all the time, as we're, as, especially as Mike's using it with his students. But I found the amazing thing that the real thing that amazed me the most was just by if you if you take a wedge and a wiffle ball and just go into the basement, and if you can trace, you don't need the map for this. If you can trace the the laser dot back twelve inches. And through 12 inches on a straight line, um, it's amazing what happens because the, that tore angle 144 or the angle between your your shaft and, and, and your forearm remains the same and the club stays outside your hands. And so just by tracing that one foot of backswing and one foot of follow through, you can really learn the hand path that you need to chip the ball. And then, of course, you can then just add some wrist cock and pitch it. And then the full the full swing is just an extension of that. So uh, I'm really I'm, I really think that um, one of the a key fundamental um, in golf now that I'm learning more and more about it is the actual the hand path. And I don't just mean back and through. I mean without rotating or without moving your knuckles away. If you can if you can take if you can um, master that hand path, then I think you, you, you've got a very good chance of um, developing a very good, consistent, repeatable golf swing. Well, I know in the world of instruction, and and I do a lot of that, and and the show is really about instruction, and and I know that one of the newest things that is being um, uh, used to teach players is 3D, and hand path is something that has been w- looked at more often now as opposed to just club path um, and swing plane and things of that nature. So that hand path um, really tells a lot about what the, the player is doing to manipulate that club face or to uh, change it. Uh, and if we can see what that hand path is doing, it gives us a much better opportunity to consistently repeat it and and then when you have that visual feedback, as uh, that visual feedback always leads to the feel of what you're doing too. So it can help in a lot of different ways. Yeah, and and you know it's not just visual as you say; it's the feel. So once you once you are tracing the laser dot, you're also feeling what it's like. And you know I've I've got a saying. I don't know if it's unique to me, but what you feel is not real. And 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 I. I'd, I'd always been taking and rolling my hands and then coming, you know, coming over the top. But because I got pretty good hand-eye coordination, I wasn't slicing the ball. I was, you know, I was able to, you know, play fairly decent golf. But but now I'm focusing on the hand path. As you say, you talk about the the club path where you want the toe up, you know, at waist high. But if you focus more on the hand path, you you get there with, with a lot less. Um, stress and hassle and, and I watch players I watch I watch players who I play with my golf buddies I watch people on the range and I see them 
uh, instructors talk about whipping the club too far to the inside. But if you focus more on that hand path, if you've got them not to immediately turn their hands or their knuckles away from the target, and you have that visual representation with the laser, I, I, I certainly know from, from, from what I've been, I've learned over the last 18 months, that it's, it, I can look at a professional swing um, on the TV or one of the swing sequence you know, magazines, and then I can look at a non-professional swing or a mid to high handicapper, and I just notice the hand path. Now, if, you know, as you talk about with the 3D thing, if you focus more, if people started looking at that from, you know, as cause and effect rather than concentrating on the club head, which is essentially three feet away from you, and, and you know, and what you see standing over the ball is not what you see from standing behind someone or standing, you know, face on with someone. So I think it is, is, is fundamental. Absolutely. And, and um, I think that as it, I mean, in, you're actually the first guest that we've had um, that is really um, not an instructor uh, and and is uh, talking about an actual product that not only helps players um, find what they need to do and to get better, but um, helps instructors uh, instruct a little bit quicker um, and get that point across because there's that visual and feed back of uh, not just seeing it but feeling it at the same time, and then those students can use that. And that's that's a big reason why um, after I met you and I saw the product, and then and I actually um, used the product a little bit myself in my own uh, academy. Um, why I wanted to have you on the show because I think. As an innovative product, um, it's it's pure genius, and and it there's so many things that it does um, for for the price point that is that is really very very reasonable for for what what the thing does. Yeah, I I, I think it is. I mean, you know, I said earlier that would I buy this product and the prototype? No, but so much has been done. Uh, and the work from Mike and the, the, the Matt, it is, and, and Mike and I are finding stuff out about it every single day. But it, it's funny that, you know, now I've got credibility from the, all the pros that have backed the product. And Mike Fay, with, his, um, with all his credentials, um, adds credibility. But what I find is, you know, as a, as a non professional golfer who's invented something to fix my own problem, um, I didn't have the solutions already. Now, if you're a professional, you've already got those moves, and you, you, you know, it's like riding a bike to you. It's not, but to us hackers or, or as mid to high handicappers who don't have that riding the bike and that natural um, golf swing, um, I think it's that's why it's it's um, probably so inventive. Is because it's there to fix somebody who's. Had a fairly terrible swing, for, gone from a 21 handicap to a nine handicap in two years. So things are things are moving pretty good. And I think because I because I wasn't a professional, I was able to look at it from a a completely different angle because I didn't have the answers. So I had to develop those answers. Yeah, well, I think that um, what you just stated to go from a 21 to a nine in two years. Um, using this product and and through the evolution of this product says a tremendous amount for the product itself um there's many people who will take lessons for that period of time and not get those kind of results um so so that's a very impressive results and um probably because of your background too of of being in the royal navy um, you're, you're probably have a very innovative mind, um, and, and a resourceful mind. And, uh, that's, and that's, you know, you saw this problem and, and started to scratch your head and say, how can I, fi-, you know, what can I do? I would need to figure this out. Um, as opposed to continually going to different instructors and trying to find out information from them. And, and, um, 
so you're, it seems like you're more of a hand-on type person. You like to tinker with things and figure things out on your own. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I need it. I came up with the idea because I mean, I'm a golf addict. I've watched hours and hours and hours and hours and years with the golf channel. I've, you know, I watch the, the school of golf. I watch YouTube videos and it's this gaming glove. I mean, um, it comes from actually the word enigma, which is, you know, the puzzle of golf. So game in is an anagram of enigma and glove is, it's the gaming glove. And, and that's, you know, you can watch, as I say, you watch someone face on, you watch them from down the line, you watch, what you see is not what you feel. And so, yeah, I came up, I came up with those ideas. Uh, I still, obviously, you, you, can't, you can't replace golf lessons. You need to go and see your, your golf professional. Of course. Uh, but, you know, as you say, these winter months and when off-season, it's the perfect time to ingrain this muscle memory uh, and you can make so much leaps and bounds that when you do go back to your golf instructor and your golf professional, they can work on the next level of, of, of the golf swing, you know, rather than being stuck on, on the one thing for, for over and over. I think you can just progress that much faster in working with, with the product and with your instructor. Sure. So as as the inventor of this device um would you say that it's it's best suited for players who are a higher handicap or uh intermediate players to single digit um you know so which is really like your average your average weekend golfer as opposed to a higher level player um originally because I came up with it as at the time a mid handicapper um, I assumed, and they told us in the Navy never to assume anything, but I assumed it was only really going to be, you know, useful for you mid to high handicappers until um, I sent the product out to, to the golf professionals um, who were, you know, teaching college golfers and, and scratch golfers. And they found that they could, you know, if they had, a, if they had one of their scratch golfers was taking the club slightly too far to the outside on the way back for their swing, the laser showed them straight away. I even had a phone call back from uh, Shane LeBaron, who's one of the one plane swing instructors, um, thanking me for letting him use Gaming Glove because he was using it with a, a college player um, and she was having issues. Um, and he said, I took her inside um, inside the facility, put gaming glove on there and got her to trace the laser dot along the lines that he wanted to, took her back outside onto the range. He said she'd gain 15 yards per club and put her five iron back in the bag. And he called me at home to thank me. And, and it's that sort of feedback is, that has made all this worthwhile. And, um, you know, I had Pete Drotter, the golf squire, working with scratch golfers, and that's when Pete said, well, I find it really good for putting. I was like, I never thought about using it for putting. And that's what I mean. We're finding new things. Uh, Pete also said it was great in the bunker um, to show that. And I, again, you know, it can obviously be adaptable, especially now with the adjustable laser. You can throw that laser in front of you anywhere and, and trace whatever you need to do and, and get that visual feedback that, that, that will tell you right away what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong. That's great. I mean, and it's, um, it's in other words, then a little fine tuning for better players, it can help them too. So it's, it really, um, is a very innovative product that works across the board for any level player who needs to work on specific things. Um, and, or, uh, and those specific things can anything, can be anything from an out and out swing fault that causes poor shot making to fine tuning and, uh, and for better players who are just doing little tiny things in their swing, but just can't seem to find it. And it shows up very quickly, um, visually with this product. Yeah, absolutely. And then if you're an instructor or you're a player that wants to learn to hit, say, a different shot shape, so you want to learn to hit a, a draw, 
then you can you can use the laser and and and, and the realizer club face. You can combine those two to show that you want, for example, the impact. You want the face to be slightly open, but you want the you, the path to be inside um, out or inside to inside, um, and you can adapt that uh, as necessary to to work on the different shot shapes. So that's more an, of an advanced move, if you like, for your, your mid to low handicappers. So for our listeners out there in Par Nation, that's what we call our, our audience, <laughs> um, how can they get this product? And, um, and when they do purchase the product, what exactly are they getting that comes along with it? Okay, you can get the product currently by going to the website, um, game in glove, game-inglove.com, game-inglove.com. Um, and when you, when you purchase a product, you get the glove, um, which is your size. We have seven sizes um, in the left hand, all the way from junior small all the, all the way up to men's extra large. Um, you get the two batteries required. Um, you get the, the laser path mat. And you get the uh, Mike Fay DVD, uh, and in the DVD, Mike shows you how to use the gaming glove. He shows shows you common faults with the backswing, common faults with downswing, common faults with impact, and uh, a conclusion. So you, you get the glove, the mat, the DVD, um, and some instructions and some helpful tips as well on the inside and of the packaging. Excellent. So they're going to go to Game Dash or www.game-inglove.com to order this product. Yeah, that's correct, yeah. Wonderful. Well, Mark, thanks so much for being with us today, taking the time out of your schedule. Um, it was an absolute pleasure speaking with you. I wish you all the greatest success in this product. Um, I think that you're a very inventive person to come up with something in such a short period of time that's going to be such a game changer in this industry. There's tons of people who are in this industry who um, have been trying to think up products to make things better, um, but you've made huge leaps and bounds in a very short period of time, and I congratulate you on that. Um, well, I appreciate those kind words, Bernard, and um, um, thanks for having me on the show, and I'm really looking forward to uh, getting Gaming Glove out there to the masses. Well, it's my pleasure to help you do so. So until we meet again, as you say here at Breaking Par, try to keep it in the short grass. And I'm sure that if they use Game and Glove, they'll be seeing a lot more short grass than not. Thank you. All right, take care.